Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing and fighting. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel, donations, Venmo, and the Patreon family. We working. December 30th, we got a new UFC 219 main event. Chris Cyborg versus Holly Holm. And I think this is a really good fight. First of all, I got to say shout out to these two ladies because they're constantly challenging themselves. You know what I mean? Chris Cyborg, when Ronda Rousey was in her prime, she had been calling out Ronda Rousey. Uh, Ronda Rousey was saying she had a dick and, you know what I mean, just making slight, saying she's a, a drug abuser and steroid head. And Cyborg wanted to settle in the ring. She even came over from um, Evicta and killed herself to make weight. She was trying to make the fight. Ronda Rousey's like kind of a non-issue right now because, I mean, she got stopped two times back to back. So I don't even know if people would even care about that fight. Also, Gina Carano, someone else Chris, Chris Cyborg fought. Same thing on Holly Holm. She fought, actually fought Ronda Rousey. Defended versus Misha Tate. Got in there with Durandamy, a very strong striker. So shout out to these two ladies. Now, there was some fear that this fight may not happen. They were talking about making this fight, but I heard they were kind of far apart on the money and it didn't look like it was going down. But yesterday evening, they just announced that it is a done deal. December 30th in Vegas, Cyborg versus home. It's a title fight, UFC 219. I like it. Uh, dangerous fight. Dangerous fight. See, Holly Holmes, she's like a, what's the word? A wild card. It's like when you count her out, she does better. You know what I mean? Like people count her out in the Ronda Rousey fight. Oh, what she got? And then she showed up. You know what I mean? So she's a, she's a wild card. I, I'm leaning towards Cyborg. I think Cyborg overall is probably big. Holly Holmes pretty big, though. I would say Cyborg is probably a little bit bigger hits harder um very hungry and i think she's a bit fresher holly home the durandomy fight i think she got hit after the bell or something i forgot i haven't watched it in a while but um so she she's taking some punishment she got knocked out in boxing by that sophia mathis i think was her name um so she just has more mileage on her but she's she knows how to kick she's a former boxer so it could be very interesting. I, I can't wait for the face-offs. I want to see how they match up. Because from the eye test, I, I think Chris Cyborg might be a little bit shorter, but massier. And Holly Holm might be a little bit taller, but also pretty big, pretty built. So, very good fight. Now, I did a video about this. There's the Ego Rumor Mill. The rumors circulating that Tyron Woodley may face Nate Diaz at UFC 219. That was before this announcement. Tyron Woodley says it's a 50% done. He says he wasn't going to fight this year, but he'll come back in December and fight Nate Diaz. And he says, Nate Diaz signed a contract. We waiting on you. He said he, he's already agreed to his portion. With this being announced, I don't know if they're going to still try to push that fight. Because I thought if, I don't know. I don't know if they would put, let's say Tyron Woodley fights Nate Diaz. It seems like that might be the main event over a cyborg home. You know what I mean? So the fact that they made this the main event and announced it, and I haven't heard any announcement or updates on Tyron Woodley versus Nate Diaz being being beyond the rumor stage. I don't know if they would just put that in as a co-main event. So it's still possible. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm definitely liking the main event, and I want to see how this the rest of the card fills out. UFC one thing i like what they've done is they close their year strong they had that ufc 205 and then ronda rousey when she got knocked out by amanda nunez that car was right before new year's eve so boxing doesn't really do that like december 30th fights december 31st like i don't remember many big fight cards boxing kind of gets their their fights first or second week of december and then that's it but 
the UFC is still banging out fight cards, big cards too. And it's like two days before the new year or so. So I, I really like that. Let me know who wins Cyborg or Home. Who would you predict to win and how? Drop your thoughts. Who else? I haven't really heard anything else about UFC 219 to know who's going to be on it for sure. But if you have any more information, drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.